Hi! Today I'll be showing um, this cool command called the game rule random tick speed right here. Basically what this command does it will change the tick speed of um, plants like sea kelp I think it'll also affect the rate of fire burning too. It'll also have an effect on sugar canes, cactus, and seagrass, all that stuff. To put this command in, um, it's slash game rule. Thanks to the new 1.13 update all this you don't really have to type it in r and if you type in r it should come up random tick speed click on it and you could basically change the value here so i think the normal is like about one to five but you could change it to all sorts of things. I think it'll crash the game if you do it really high though. So I'm just gonna go with 5,000. It's still pretty high to begin with. And look at the speed of the sea help. It's so... Like a thousand times faster. Look at all this. Oh. Yeah, a lot of food. Look at all this kelp. More than a stack. A lot more than a stack. It's all to get out the insane amount of food. And Drake can also be eaten really fast. But also, this effect also works on cactus and shurikens. One, two, three. It just grows back in three seconds, which is crazy. One, two, three. Yeah. Also works with cactus. Yeah. Very fast. So. Um, Don't see any seat up here. So I think it also works with probably works with anything. Oh gosh, what black bag. Yeah, no blocks up. I'm just gonna give myself some um spoosh sapling and as soon as I plant this without any bone meal it should grow boom that is cra that's crazy just crazy and also, it might also work with turtle life cycles too, and well, mob life cycles. Like, oh. 
Hold on, I'm just gonna get her creative. Ah, uh, this is just so much easier. And I could get maybe like a turtle spawn egg. Okay, the turtle babies. And it might also apply on turtle life cycles. It might not. But I'm just going to. S it still takes a little bit of time. No. It might be working, it might not. Well, I'm sure it works with plants, though. Yeah. You could just grab some saplings. Hold on, I think, I don't think, yeah, maybe wrong. Let's try with it. Yes, yes. Just keep planting. I look as as you, as soon as you plant it, you get a tree. It's crazy. So much lag. And there you have a snowboard. Just like that. And now if you wanna make it proper again, you could just do game rule again and then random tick speed. I I think the normal is like three. It it might not be, I'm not so sure, but it's pretty close. Again, it's a long time, boring. And then Right. You could control your friends with this. Look how fast the forest is burning. And there's so much lag too. But it's worth it. All with one command. It's crazy. Someone could just have a house, a simple house, nothing special, no defense, you could do the game real quick. random tick speed, 5,000, I think any more than it, that will lag, a lot, so lags, 5,000, but 
and your friend has a nice house. And all you need to do to destroy it is just one right click and, and, and just like that. Just like that. Your friend's whole house burns. Only, the only thing that's left are two blocks. But just like that. It's so cool how it works. Okay, for some reason my trident is not working, so... You may not want to set it to 5,000, it may be too much. Too much lag. Way too much lag. No, 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 just, just three. And now, I can throw my try it again. So, you may not want it to set it a crazy number. It might be bad for survival. You won't be able to do it as efficiently. Now, if you did have game roll random tick speed set to a high number, though, any you could have a huge amount of crops and kind of unlimited resources. Unlimited. If you guys don't know, this is a simple redstone observer um, automated harvester. Harvesting. So I'm just gonna set it back here. Back to 5,000. And just to show you, once the sugar cane grows. This observer block will send the redstone signal here, which will power the piston and the sugar cane will grow. You want to make sure the piston doesn't break the bottom block though, then it won't grow at all. And we have hoppers right here to catch. Oh my goodness. Catch what you got. And if you check often, you'll have lots of sugar canes. If we have the game random tick speed on. So, overall, I think this is a pretty cool game role to test with to help with. I wouldn't recommend it for survival, though. It could lag a lot. It could. I mean, it would. I can't even throw my trident here. So, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. Random tick speed. And then you can set it back to normal. Well, normal, I think. It might... Three might not be normal, normal, it might be one, but you never know. I, I can't even, oh. But, if you set it, set the, set the random tick speed to like, negative or just zero, crops won't grow at all. Won't go at all. It'll only work because they just—they just, they just won't grow. Just won't. Only weights probably bone meal.
Hmm. Cow life cycle? Cows will not grow at all. But. Mine out effect. Okay. Yeah, the lag is crazy. So not smooth. I don't know if it works with life cycles. I don't think it has an effect on animal life cycles. Well, if you ever want to know how to do a survival in this, or just check it out, it's a pretty thing, it's a pretty fun thing to mess with. Every day you just have this kelp farm like I have. And I cheated. Create a mode. You could just God. you could just put kelp. And I'll just cook. I'll have all this kelp to and you but nothing to do with it. I don't really recommend it though. You could set it to a high number, not to high, like 5,000, maybe only like 100. Like this. Maybe like 300. There, I, I can still throw my trident, which isn't. Which means it isn't lagging too bad. And crops will grow like, I don't know, like 50, like 300 more faster. And you can actually see the change with 300. And no lag. So if you want to play with that, you know, still have the fire effect, troll your friends. That's still a question. And overall, I think this game role is pretty cool. So, with that, bye.